What's going on everybody? Welcome back from the video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my swim bike collection. One thing I really got into um, this fishing season was swim baiting. Um, you don't catch a lot of fish on it, but the ones you do catch are really big. I've only caught about three or four swim bait fish, but they've all, they've all been about four pounders. So keep trying it until I catch a big one. So today I'm going to show you all my swim baits and I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite. Now, my least favorite are still great swim baits. I love using them. It's just I, some like I'm, some I like more than others. So the first swim bait I'm going to show you is the Dual Hardcore Twitcher Ninja. This is 180 millimeter. It's in slow sink. Um, it's in a Yugi pattern. I really love this bait. It has a really wide um, gliding action. The only thing I don't like about it is that a lot of times it'll get um, foul hooks on the line. Um, and it's a little, it's a little boxy if you can see, like, there's some, a lot of flat edges, but I've yet to catch a fish on this, but it has a really great action, so I think for the fall bite, it should be really good. Um, my next bait I'm going to show you guys is an Imakatsu Gilroy. This is the junior size, so it's the smaller size. Um, the really big selling point, make sure it's in focus, the really big selling point on this bait is the wrap on it. It's very, um, very realistic if you guys can see that. And, um, the only reason that I don't like this bait is because the only real crazy thing about it is the wrap. Otherwise, it's not the best build, it's just pretty much a plastic swim bait, but... Um, for the price point, I think it's a little bit pricey for what you get. Um, if you have enough money to buy a swim bait like this, I would definitely recommend some other ones. But I still like this bait. It's really good for the spawn time. If you put a drop shot weight right there and it goes nose down on a bed, bass go crazy for that. The next bait I'm going to show you is a Mega Bass Ice Slide 135. This is the slow twitch style. So it has a really nice darting action side to side. And I really love this bait. It's small, so it can catch these um, small fish as well. It's not only for big fish. So if you're having a tough day, you can just throw this around. Um, usually get a bite on it if you throw it for a while. Um, what's really cool about it is it has these magnets for the, hook, for the hook hangers. So the hooks attach to the bottom of the bait, so it gets foul hooked less. Um, it has a really pretty small um, erratic action which is different from a lot of the glide baits I have but I really got nothing bad to say about this it's a great swim bait I would highly recommend it next swim bait is a 6 inch Huddleston Deluxe 68 edition it is the weedless version as you can see I got the weedless edition because um, around where I fish a lot there's a lot of weeds um, so I can just slow roll this on the bottom, throw the weeds, and the big girls can come out and chomp this pretty easily. But it's great color, though it has a very good thump to the tail, and it's a very good bait. <clears throat> Next swim bait I got for you guys is a Jackal Gentarel swim bait. It's in the junior size as well. And this is a really great swim bait for beginners and even people who are really into swim baiting. It's just a very good swim bait. It's realistic. It has feathered hooks and it's very cheap for what you get. Um, I would highly recommend it. This is the floating style. Um, I like it because you can also put a drop shot weight on the lip and make it heavier so it can be a slow sink. So you get a two for one there. Um, the paint job is really nice as you can see. And yeah, I love the swim bait. My next favorite swim bait is the Huddleston Bluegill. This is a bait that I had been looking at for a while. I heard Huddleston had some problems with this bait rolling over when it swims, but they seem to have fixed that. I love this bait. It's perfect for yo-yoing, um, which is where it sits on the bottom and you just rip it up through the weeds and it looks like a dying bait fish. This is a really nice bait. I've had some big bites on it, but haven't been able to hook any so far, but 
I really love this bait. Um, it's one of Huddleston's cheapest baits, so if you're looking to just get an all-around good swim bait, I'd definitely go for this guy. So get him in, getting into my nicer swim baits, I have a Gancraft Claw. This is the 178mm edition. This is the Slow Sink. And I believe this is in the Ghost AU pattern. Um, everything about this swim bait is nice. It's textured, so it, you can feel like the scales on it. Um, everything's really clean and slender. It looks just like a fish. This is my favorite tail on a bait. It's flexible but hard, so the fish don't usually bend it. Um, and it's just a it's a really good swim bait. If you're going, if you're buying a gift for someone, or you just want to get a higher end swim bait that'll always catch fish that'll last you a while, I'd definitely go for this guy. Alrighty, next. The last Huddleston I have is a 8 inch phantom trout color. Um, the difference between this phantom trout and regular trout is, can you guys see how that body is translucent? So that's, that's really nice just depending on where you live. Sometimes um, bass like to see the reflection in this, but it's super realistic. I don't know if you guys can, it really comes across on the camera, but it, it's a really great bait. I haven't had any fish bite it yet, but I'm waiting for that one big bite because Huddleston's do the trick. All right, getting into my nice swim baits, I've got a 316 workhorse. So this is the eight inch um, glide glide bait. It's a shad pattern. Um, it's by 316, which is an American company. They have really nice swim baits, um, all hand done. I love this bait. It's it's big. It's a wide glide, and you can make it, if you twitch it, you can make it dart back and forth. I really have nothing bad to say about this bait. It's a great bait. You just have to be patient and throw it around for a while, and you'll hook up on a bite. This swim bait is very cool. This is from Carolina Fishing Tackle. Um, great bait store for swim baits and everything, if you guys ever need a place to buy your stuff. Carolina Fishing Tech has great stuff. This is a Keisu Kotetsu. So this is a very cool swim bait. It's tiny. It's, I believe it's three and a half or four inches. So it's a really nice size if you live in the Midwest area or any areas that have smaller fish but you still want to get those big bites. This is a great bait. Um, what makes this bait special is that when the fish bites it, this hook can pop up, and so the it makes it harder for the fish to throw the hook. Um, the detail on this bait also is just crazy. You can see all the little dots, and it looks exactly like a rainbow trout. Um, I live in Virginia, if you guys didn't know, but in Virginia, tra there's a lot of rainbow trout, and rainbow trout is a killer color where I live. Yeah, I love this swim bait. And then, my last swim bait, which is my favorite swim bait. Um, this is pretty much, I just, I really love this swim bait. I, not much else to say, is the Roman Made Negotiator. So this comes straight from Japan. It's a very, um, very famous lure. The, one of the biggest bass in the world was caught on the bigger version of this called the Mother. Um, this is the seven inch version and the patterns on this are crazy and it's all hand done all the gills and everything are all hand done it's just an amazing bait and this is all handmade it's crazy um yeah love this bait if you're looking to go large on a swim bait i would definitely recommend this one as my top pick but yeah that's my swim bait collection i hope you guys enjoyed um, see you in the next one.